The Philippines is one of the most diverse archipelagos in the world. It houses 7,100 plus islands and inside are various animals and plants that can only be found in this country. Truly is blessed, the country is surrounded by oceans and seas in a thriving environment. The Philippines can be found and located within the Coral Triangle, which can only mean that it is rich and diverse. But deep within its southern parts, Mindanao, a bird's song calls for everyone. It is said that the Bukidnon is a paradise that is needed to be seen by people, a paradise that holds various treasures. It may not be cash, but it holds value where there is nothing to compare it with. Bukidnon is where the Mount Kitanglad is located. It covers of about 47,200 hectares at northern portion of Bukidnon province. Mount Kitanglad holds various ecosystems, such as evergreen forests, lower and upper mountain forests, mossy forests, grasslands, freshwater wetlands and caves. Due to its unique environment, it serves as a home for our dear endemic animals. One of its residents is the Philippine eagle, or as the old Bisaya call it, Manaul. Aside from the Philippine eagle, Mount Kitanglad protects smaller avian endemic animals such as Whitehead Swiftlet, Mindanao Lurikit, Mindanao Rocket Tail, Mindanao Slaty Black Jungle Fly Catcher, Mindanao Scoops Owl, Red Eared Parrotfinch, and Apo Mina. On the land counterpart, we have the Brown Deer, Mindanao Moon Rat, Philippine Warty Pig, Mindanao Tree Shrew, Philippine Flying Limor and Philippine Tarshir and at night lurks most feared of them all the cute little bats known as pygmy fruit bat although there are great differences in shapes and sizes this large and small residents of Mount Kitanglad have roles to fill these unique animals in Mount Kitanglad keep the ecosystem in a balanced state. The Philippine eagle feeds on small rats and rodents. Though small, these rats and rodents are highly capable of producing offspring in such a short period of time. It feeds on rice, crabs, and fruits. If the Philippine eagle is gone, these rats and rodents will exponentially grow in terms of population. Since these small critters feeds on rice, it will find a great source of food. And where do you think will, it will go? Of course, the rice fields. And it will infest on the agricultural land to survive. Now, if without the Philippine eagle, who will keep the population of the rats and rodents in check for free? And now, you know them our cute and helping residents of Mount Kitanglad. Just because we love our dear animals too much, it is not a reason to neglect our forest. A forest is a collection of many plants that is dominated with large woody trees and small shrubs. Forest is the home of various animals and it keeps them protected from natural disasters. It protects not just the animals, but also the people around the forest. The forest acts as a barrier against soil erosion and landslides, gives us fresh air 
and also keeps the water clean by absorbing unwanted minerals. Each and every three trees in the forest has a role to play, just like the animals. Trees breathes the carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and it keeps it to create branches, delicious fruits and a breathtaking scenery. The roots of the trees keeps the soil in place and water moisture intact, mitigating erosion and floods when storms are approaching. Since it keeps the soil in position, the nutrients in the soil will not be carried away by the runoff, which gives us human the opportunity to grow food, food for us. This presents a balanced ecosystem where there is a give and take among animals, trees and humans. However, due to the advancing and rapid modernization, forests are being mowed down for other uses. One of the main reasons why our forests are cut down is due to agricultural expansion. Monoculture in a piece of land such palm trees or rice fields plantation does not support a lot of animals because the needs of other animals are not present in the vicinity but can only be found in a healthy forest. Other reasons why there is diminishing forests are wood extraction road construction, and urbanization. Due to neglect, forests are being trimmed one by one, the home of our beloved endemic animals. So how do we protect our cute little residents all by yourself? To get started, we need to reduce plastic wastes. Why? because some of the wastes can drift away to the habitats of our cute little animals and eat it, which can lead to poisoning and at worst death. But how? First is to reuse plastic bags. When going to the supermarket, bring your own eco bag. Just use plastic for wet goods such as fish. Next is do not litter. It may cause disturbance to sensitive habitats. How are we going to do this? Just keep your vases first until you find a trash bin. Next, report any harassment on animal, especially our cute little friends and harmful activities in Ketangla. Inform yourself more about reforestation and deforestation. Next, read more on environmental policies in the Philippines, as well as rules and regulations implemented in Ketanglad and surrounding communities. Lastly, voice out your opinion. The safety of our cute little friends will always start with us. Protection of Mount Ketanglad is our responsibility. Thank you and goodbye.